Okay, so let's continue on and look at question B. So in this question here, we want to find the ratio of their areas. So the areas here, again, if we didn't know how to approach this, let's just start by looking at what is the area of a circle. So the area of a circle is simply pi r squared. So we could do the same thing that we did in the previous question. We can have area 1 over area 2. Okay, now area 1 is given by pi r squared, so that's going to be pi times 2.5, and we have to square it. Okay, so the key thing here is that the radius is now being squared. And then area 2, similarly, is going to be 3.2, and we're also going to square that. So again, the pi's cancel, so they actually don't enter into our ratio. And when we square this, um, 2.5, if you multiply it out, you should get something close to 6.25, and 3.2 is 10.24. Now again, how do we calculate the ratio for this? We want a fraction, so we have decimals here. So instead what we can do is multiply top and bottom by 100 because that will remove our decimals. So we will have 625 over 1024. Okay, and then what you can do at this point is you can try to figure out if there is a way to reduce this fraction. Um, but 625 is uh, multiples of 5, and 1024 is multiples of 2. So to, if you try a few factors, you'll find out that this question here, you can't reduce this anymore. So this would be our final um, ratio to put in here. Now the thing to understand here, like in A, question A, that area is proportional to radius, but it's not just radius by itself, it's actually radius squared. So another way to look at this question would be to go back to question A and look at what our original radius ratio was here for circumference. Okay, the rate, the, the, in question A we had 25 over 32 as our ratio. So that means area is proportional to the radius squared. So we could have just gone and taken the ratio of those two radiuses and squared them and you would get the same answer as the method we did above. Okay, but that would, in, to do that, you'd have to recognize that area is proportional to not just the length of the radius, but you have to square the radius, um, which is a fact, which is a key property of area, that linear measurement is related by a square factor to area. Okay, but again, if you, if you couldn't um, see that part, then just start from um, the definition of area work out the two ratios, okay, and again, you'll still get the same answer. Okay, so that's how that question would go through.